Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and Kamala Harris. Gosh, I feel humiliated for her. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. Former Fox News host Megyn Kelly was actually commenting on this about Kamala Harris's appearance on the Drew Barrymore show, and it was humiliating, and it wasn't Kamala's fault. <clears throat> it wasn't Vice President Harris's fault at all. It was the fault of Drew Barrymore fawning over her and then calling her, saying she needs to be a mamala for the nation. And it was just, it was so sweet and so over the top with the acting that you could see her, the Vice President was uncomfortable with this. She herself was uncomfortable. You could look at her face and she's like, oh boy, what is this? It's just more typical Hollywood BS. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste your time describing it to you. I want you to see it, and I want you to see Megyn Kelly's response to it because it is fantastic. So I want you to take a look at this clip, and then I want you to let me know what you think. Do you feel sorry for her, for the vice president? I do. You could see like she's visibly uncomfortable in this. Let me know what you guys think. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Our leader, the feminine hero that we need, feminist. Um, first of all, for the first time in the Drew Barrymore television show history, they stocked the audience with all women. Here's a look at that, Sot 13. Welcome to the show, our guest. Oh my God, look at her. No introduction. She is the first black, first South Asian, and yes, first female Vice President of the United States. Please welcome Vice President Kamala Harris. I stand, but I'm already standing up. We have all women here today in the audience. Thank you, ladies. Comes the following. Kamala offers the following little ditty about her name and what her stepchildren call her. Listen here. We, um... We kind of don't use the term step because I just think I love Disney. However, Disney kind of messed that up <laughs> you know, for a lot of us over the years. You know, the evil step parent. Um, and their word for me is Mamala. And so they call me Mamala. All right. That's fine. I actually think that's kind of cute. It's kind of clever. I, I, fine. Here's the follow up by Drew Barrymore. I keep thinking in my head that we all need a mom. I've been thinking that we really yeah. all need a tremendous yeah. hug in the world right now. Yeah. But in our country, we need you to be mamala of the country. And as a woman, who respects so much mm -hmm. and wants to share and wants to be confident and has no ounce of meat that has competitiveness. Yeah. When we lift each other up, we all rise. That's exactly right. Oh That's my right. God. That's right. That's right. However, right. we need a great protector. She wants us to believe that that great protector who we apparently all need and desperately want is Kamala Harris. 